Starting things off, we have One Million Parfum by Paco Rabanne. Released in 2020, this is a beautiful, sweet, white floral, amber, woody, just a little bit of salt, just a really nice, smooth, yet deep fragrance. The notes here are tuberose, manoa oil, salt, ambergris, solar notes, leather, cashmere, labdanum, and pine. Longevity is solid. I get seven plus hours with three sprays longer if you spray it on the clothing projection, so-so. A one foot the first couple hours after that, it does become a skin scent. Now, a lot of you gents are familiar with the original One Million Paco Rabanne. I like this one a lot better. Why? Because it's not as sweet. There's something about this one that's much more refined. This one definitely for a guy in his 30s, 40s, or even 50s. That being said, if you're a bit younger, still like the suite of One Million, but you want something slightly different, check out either one of these flankers. pre vague and a little bit darker with the cinnamon and tobacco, or Lucky, a bit like the original except fruitier. In today's video, gents, I'm talking about the new winter fragrances that every guy needs to check out. Next up, we have Azar's 2021 release, The Most Wanted. This is a warm, spicy, amber, woody, sweet fragrance. Now, the notes listed are pretty simple. Top notes, we got cardamom. In the middle, we have toffee. And at the base, we have amber wood. Having worn this fragrance a couple times, I can tell you that it's got great longevity. You're going to get probably six to seven plus hours off of just three sprays and projection is good. Two feet the first couple hours after that, it goes down to one foot, but really just starts to become a skin scent after six to seven hours. With all that being said, gents, am I going to highly recommend it? Well, it depends. Do you already own Armani's Stronger With You? Because if you do, this is going to be a duplicate. This really seems like a clone of Armani Stronger With you. That being said, this one is harder to find. You're not going to find it at a lot of retail outlets. A lot of you guys never gotten your nose on this one. This one you can find at a lot of box stores and it's relatively affordable even if it's a new release. So, if you smell this and you like it in the store, grab it. It's a solid fragrance but not the most original one. Now, speaking of Armani, let's talk about the newest release from this line, Emporio Armani's Stronger With You Absolutely. This is a warm, spicy, vanilla, aromatic, rum type fragrance with just a bit of nut. So, the top notes are rum and bergamot. Middle notes, lavender and divana. Base notes, chestnut, Madagascar vanilla, cedar and patchouli. Now, gents, Personally, I like this fragrance for what it's not. It's not overly sweet and it's not as strong as Intensely, which actually I like this one a little bit better. That being said, am I going to recommend it? Well, it's a little bit difficult to find. If you can find it, definitely pick it up, especially if you don't own the original. But if you haven't bought any of them, check out the original, a little bit easier to find, also less expensive. And you find if this isn't strong enough or if you like beast fragrances that never end in terms of like, yeah, coming off your clothing, check out Intensely. This is where it's at. Now, this next fragrance in my opinion, is one of the top releases of 2021 and perhaps the last few years. Seriously, so hot. And that fragrance is Dior's 2021 release, Sauvage Elixir. Now, I know this can get confusing. There are four other ones. It's not the EDT, the EDP, the Parfum, or the Cool Spray. And a lot of people, for good reason, thought Dior is throwing out another Sauvage, another money grab. But seriously, when you smell this, you will see a night and day difference from this and all the other releases they've had over the last few years. Warm, spicy, woody, lavender, aromatic. This fragrance is deep, smells really like a niche fragrance, and in my opinion, is, yeah, just a masterpiece. Top notes are cinnamon, nutmeg, cardamom, grapefruit, mild notes, lavender, base notes, licorice, sandalwood, amber, patchouli, and Haitian vetiver. I get beast mode performance. We're talking at least eight plus hours with three sprays in the chest area. Also, projection is good. The first few hours, two feet after that, one foot. This thing is a solid fragrance. The only knock I'll have on this is it's just relatively expensive for what you get. That being said, you be the judge for yourself. Get your nose on this and if you like it, cry once about the price and just wear the heck out of this. Seriously, even with a two ounce bottle, you should easily get three to four hundred sprays, which is enough for almost half a year for most people. Unless you're curly fragrance, then you're yeah, going to get maybe a week's worth out of this. And in case you don't know, Michelle is my friend. Next up, gents, we have Jean-Paul Gaultier's 2020 release, Le Mal, Le Parfum. Really quick, gents, how was that pronunciation? You guys know I grew up in a trailer park. I don't know how to pronounce anything French. And if you've seen me make mistakes on my channel, do me a favor, smash that like button. And if you're just enjoying watching these videos, smash that like button. It lets the YouTube algorithm, the gods know that, hey, this video is good and it reaches more people. And I appreciate it when you guys interact and, you know, let me know down in the comments when I make mistakes. I try to get better. Seriously, someday I will put out a perfect video. Someday. Now, gents, this is a warm, spicy, amber, vanilla, aromatic, lavender fragrance that really is beautiful. If you like the original Lamal, you are going to love this. Top notes are cardamom, middle notes, lavender, and iris. At the base, we've got oriental notes, woody notes, and vanilla. 
Now, of all the fragrance on this list today, this is by far the sweetest. That being said, there's just something mature about it. A lot of people have said, you know, we haven't smelled a fragrance this great since Ultramol or even the original, with dare say. Now, the original has been reformulated many times. Many people see it's a shadow of what it used to be. But I see people and I have to agree that this thing is, it grows on you. And the more you wear it in colder weather, the more you're going to love it. Seriously, gents, it's a solid flanker, one of the best that Jean Paul Gaultier has released in the last few years. And speaking of great flankers, Check out Victor and Rolf's 2021 release, Spice Bomb Infrared. Warm, spicy, cinnamon, tobacco, sweet, fruity. This is a beautiful combination. Very similar to the original. Now, the original has a special place in my heart. This is one of the first fragrances I was to add to my collection a few years ago when I seriously started collecting. That being said, if you can find the extreme version of the original, this one is even better, has more projection, lasts longer, all the things you want from the Spice Bomb except maybe put on steroids. So then why am I putting the infrared as the first one on the list? Well, it is a new release, but for me, it's that cinnamon and there's just something timely about this time of the year. I think that this one is great for around Christmas season, January, just beautiful for the holidays. Holidays. Now, the top notes are going to be red fruits, pink pepper, and saffron. The middle notes, cinnamon, red pepper. The base notes, tobacco and benzoin. I would say that if you own the original, it may be a bit redundant. However, if you don't own a spice bomb and you really like cinnamon, check this one out. Now, gents, if you're watching this video, it's safe to say that you're into smelling good. But did you know that fragrance can also affect your mindset? This was something that I got into a while back. I love studying the science of things. And I kept finding all this research about how smell can enhance your ability to focus, have clarity on the work you're on, allow you to be able to go in and feel more energized. So, I started doing more research and I realized no no one is putting out fragrances that are specifically formulated to help men get more out of their day. So, guess what? I created the first scent triggers. These fragrances right here, Honor, Courage and Commitment are specifically formulated to help you become the man you know yourself to be by conditioning you to whenever you smell these fragrances to actually feel a certain way. So, if you got to give a presentation in front of your boss's boss, if you're training for a triathlon and you want to be able to control scent and the way it makes you feel, that's what I formulated these fragrances for. And so, it's more than just fragrances, these scent triggers. And I give you a course actually that goes with you. Guys, if that at all sounds interesting, down in the description of today's video, I'm linking over to the Mission Fragrance Project. I'm so excited about this. We are now getting these things out there and guys, this is going to change the industry. I'm proud of this, guys. And many of you guys know this has been years in the making. I'm, uh, I'm proud about what we're doing, guys. And of course, let's get back to the content. Now, a lot of you guys are saying, come on, Antonio, give me something cheaper. Give me something that really has projection last. Oh, and by the way, smells just like Creed Aventus. Well, check out the new EDP Club de Nuit Intense. You've probably seen the EDT. It's the most well-known clone of Creed Aventus. This new EDP is even stronger, projects even more. Seriously, gents, if you like Creed Aventus, but you're always thinking, you know what? I want more, more longevity, more projection. Multiply that times three, maybe even times five. Yeah, that's what you got here with the new EDP. Do I think it's better than Creed Aventus? Not, well, let's just say that more is not necessarily always better. But for 200 mil, and that's the size they're only selling at on Amazon, I think that it's worth checking out. If you own the original EDT, should you get this EDP? No. In my opinion, this is just the same stuff except stronger. Maybe it's a little bit smoother on the top, but yes, this is strong. Next up, we have Dolce & Gabbana's 2020 release, The One, Eau de Parfum for men. Warm, spicy, woody, aromatic. This is a solid flanker. Do I think it's better than the original? It definitely is stronger. However, if you got the EDP, I wouldn't grab this one. However, if you've never tried the one and you're in the store, maybe you find a great deal on this, definitely check it out. What I like is this is sweet yet more mature. Now, the top notes are cardamom, neroli, and cypress. Mild notes, cashmere, benzoin, neroli, and clary sage. The base, we've got leather, neroli, lambdanum, and patchouli. I don't know about you, but that's a lot of neroli in there. And you can definitely pick up this one is probably more floral than the other, the ones out there. Now, the big difference for me from the original is that this one is a bit sweeter and lighter with the florals. That being said, it's got more longevity, in my opinion, than the original, not than the EDP, but that being said, it's a solid flanker. So, again, if you're in a store, you smell it, grab it. If not, maybe look online 
online and just grab the EDT, which you can find at amazing prices if you look at discounters. Next up, we've got the 2021 release Armani Code Eau de Parfum. Vanilla, aromatic, lavender with a bit of citrus and powdery. This is a really versatile fragrance that no one's really been talking about lately, but is a solid buy, especially if you walk into a store, maybe you find a deal on this or you just hey, get your nose on it and you love it. Definitely worth a look. Top notes are lavender, lemon and bergamot. The middle note, Tonka. At the base, we've got vanilla, suede, musk, and cedar. Now, I don't know what it is about this year, but a lot of people are saying that some of these flankers coming out remind them of the original Armani code. So, if you hate the reformulations, you want to get back to the original. This is probably worth picking up. And Armani code, in case you're not familiar, it's that citrus at the top mixed in with the sweetness of the vanilla and the lavender. When you smell this and it's that citrus right there top, it really feels like a fresh, cleaner fragrance. At the same time, it's got the depth perfect for the winter. Again, these are all fragrances that you're going to want to go into a store and smell for yourself, but definitely be on the look for them. Now, what if you're looking for a niche fragrance, something that doesn't smell like anything else on the market? Okay, I've got a couple options for you here. Right here, Exalt New Wheat. And if you're familiar with Big Beard Business, love his channel. He released this one with Navitus Parfums and I think it's an absolutely beautiful scent. I've been rocking this probably more than I should. And this other fragrance I'm holding here, Zaharoff Signature Pour Om. So, I talked about this one a couple years ago, maybe even last year it was on my list of top winter fragrances and still, it's an amazing fragrance. As you can see, I've made my way through this bottle. It is just a beautiful scent. I know for me, I love the myrrh, the frankincense. scent. It's really got a lot of unique notes quality juice right here, unlike anything else on the market. So, if you're looking for something unique, something that's going to set you apart, some a little bit maybe old school, some people would say, but still modern, check out what George has done. And just a great guy, friend of mine, and uh, I love what he's doing. Again, both of these fragrances made by niche houses, great companies to support. I'll link to both of them down in the description of today's video. I know some of you guys are saying, come on, Antonio, you left off tons of new fragrances. Well, guess what? I covered a lot more of those in my fall video, which I will link to right here. And yes, I know it says fall, but here's the thing. Is that these fragrances will also work in the winter. Come on, you know, I got to make a series of videos. And if you live in a warmer area, definitely it doesn't get, you know, below zero in your area in the winter. Check out this video because these fragrances are going to be perfect for you.